Okay, we got another space video. How the universe is way bigger than you think. I absolutely love these videos. Let's hop straight into this. Let's go. It's a real life lore video made possible by Squarespace. Make your next. Oh man, I love space. I actually love space. This is Earth. Yep. You live here on this planet somewhere. Little small Earth. Everything that you've ever known is located right here. But just how small exactly is Earth when compared okay. to the scale of the entire universe? That's Let's blow start mind. by zooming out to where we can see our nearest cosmic neighbor, the moon. You may think that the moon is very close to Earth since it dominates our night skies. But in reality, the moon isn't this close to our planet. It's actually about this far away. 184,400 <laughs> kilometers away from you right now. Hey, that's actually bridge, mad. You could fit 30 entire Earths in between this distance. That's mad. how we're able to drive a car at a constant 100 kilometers per hour speed, it would take you about 160 days Holy to drive the shit. entire distance. Despite this incredible distance, however, it seems so much closer. Actually set foot here, representing the furthest away that any individual human has ever been away from the Earth. Yeah. And one of humanity's greatest achievements. This is what the Earth would look like from there if you were standing there. That's with so them. cool. And if you wanted to communicate with somebody back at home, it would take a message about two and a half seconds to travel between you and them, since that's how fast the speed of light can travel at. That's actually a lot quicker than my grandma's phone. I can't lie. <laughs> this is a photo that was taken on Mars. And that tiny dot that you see there is Earth as seen from the Martian surface. Holy on average, shit. Mars is an incredible 225 million kilometers away from Earth. But that distance can be as high as 401 million kilometers. That means that whenever humanity finally gets around to landing a human on the planet, that person will be 986 times further away from Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon Damn. in addition the time delay for sending a message from mars back to earth isn't just two and a half seconds it's actually more like 20 minutes each what direction, which would render instant communication in the event of an emergency impossible when we zoom out even further away holy we find fuck the voyager one space probe which is the furthest away man-made object from earth it is currently located 138 au's from the earth AU meaning astronomical unit, which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which means that Voyager 1 is 138 times further away from us than the Sun is. At Holy crap, that's far! Voyage, Voyager 1 turned its camera around and took this photograph. It may not look like much at first, but in my opinion, this is the greatest single photograph ever taken in all of human history. Hi. This tiny, pale blue dot is Earth, and I don't think that anybody has ever said something as amazing about this as Carl Sagan when he said, If you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you ever heard of, every human being Crazy. ever lived lived out their lives crazy the aggregate of all our joys and sufferings thousands of confident religions ideologies crazy and doctrines every hunter and every forager every hero and coward every creator and destroyer of civilizations Mad. every king and every peasant every young couple in love every hopeful child every mother and every father every inventor and explorer Every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species, everyone there on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. Hey, okay, now that he told us that, that photo is probably the greatest photo ever. That actually is. There's, there's, a, there's a lot behind this photo now. Voyager but it was anyway, but traveling at 17 kilometers every now we realize. second. But even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 years. Huh? Once we go beyond the solar system, we arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. Here we shift to the light year unit. Of Listen, like I don't have 30,000 years to wait. I want to see what's out there now, man. <laughs> Which is the distance oh, that light travels in a full Earth year. I really wish we could go quicker. One trillion kilometers. The star Proxima Centauri here is the closest other star to us other than our sun, but it's still 4.24 light years away from us. 
To put that into perspective, if it was heading in the right direction, it would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 years to reach it. In other words, Holy if fuck. you drove your car at 100 kilometers an hour like in our previous example to the moon, it would take over six times longer than the entire age of the universe <laughs> just to finally get there. And what it the fuck? Even exist still when you arrived. When we zoom out even further, we can see the entire Milky Way galaxy, inside of which Earth is located right here. This yellow dot oh is the furthest God. extent of humanity's radio broadcasts throughout history, which means that any possible aliens who live outside of this range are totally unaware of humanity's presence. It's complete silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, but the entire galaxy spans over 100,000 light years from end to end. The thing is, right, how, like, we go further and further and further at this point, but, like, they say that we've got no signal or anything or can't get any images or whatever, right? How do we then know what's after this point? Do you know what I mean? And I've seen so many videos about this. I still don't understand how do we know, like... There are over 100 billion stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. But you have never seen the full glory of the galaxy at night, because 99% of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to this small, tiny region right here. But even this massive galaxy is nothing compared to the rest of what's out there. Zooming out even further and we okay. arrive at the local group of galaxies. <laughs> okay. A collection of 54 different okay. galaxies that is about 10 million light years across. But zooming out even further and okay. we can see the Virgo super <laughs> okay. the local group here is just a tiny signal. Hey, yo. There are at least 100 other groups of galaxies just- Don't ever tell me there's not aliens, bro. Never ever ever tell me there's not aliens, bro like our own local group inside of here and the distance from one side to the other is a mind-numbing 110 million light years you, like but honestly i've seen so many videos about this kind of stuff right and even watching this now you still can't have like wrap your head around what's going on and how big and how many universes, how many like how, well, how many galaxies and planets there actually is in the universe? Even the massive it's crazy. supercluster is nothing but a quiet and tiny Bro. lobe of the great Bro. Mauna Kea nah. supercluster, an enormous Bro. structure that is what the fuck? our galaxy as well as one hundred thousand other galaxies. Oh the my from god! One side to the other is five hundred twenty million light years. But from even there, we can see ah, yeah, yeah. ah, ah. the entire observable <laughs> universe and see that even the Titanic oh, Magnetic Supercluster is just a tiny and insignificant Stop. part of Stop. everything. This is the observable universe, and it contains everything that we... Right, what I want to know, though, like, it, it, he's about to say it contains everything that we know about the universe today, right? How? How? How on earth do we know this information? Like, I, I know some science behind it all, but it, it'd be interesting to know actually how did we get to the point of knowing that all this is around and because we can't see, we can't get any signals or anything from that. So like, it, oh, it's so confusing, man. My, my head is fucked. My head is just, bro, know this of. is mad. It is home to at least two trillion different and individual galaxies, which together- Ah, bro, I thought he was gonna say planets. I thought- <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I thought he was gonna say two trillion planets, not galaxies. And then the galaxies have like what, like ten planets? Uh, not on average around like I don't know. Well, I'm not a scientist, I have no clue. But I'm gonna say ten planets to a galaxy. Two trillion different and individual galaxies, which together contain more oh my stars God. than there are grains of sand on the entire Earth. The distance from Earth to any side of the observable universe is 46.5 mm. billion light years, which means that the entire width is 93 billion light years across. What's perhaps even more interesting, however, is what actually lies beyond the observable universe. Brrr, Keep in it's mind mad. That the observable universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can possibly ever imagine. We simply don't know what else is out there, because the light from these incredibly distant places has not yet had enough time in the universe's history to reach- Oh, is that how it's worked then? So the light has actually had time to come to us. 
So we might have seen it, but obviously we not have to wait 500,000 million whatever light years because it's already it's already traveled to us from, you know, Earth being there for that long. Just yet back on Earth. It's crazy. And the light from some places may never reach us at all because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light. That means that the light from these places will never in an infinite amount of time reach Earth. Meaning that even if humanity is eternal and exists forever, there will still be an unknown number of places in the universe that we will never know about or ever see. Oh my god, so, my head. It is very likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems, the observable universe is just a tiny slice of what we can currently see of the entire universe. According to the theory of cosmic inflation that was proposed Mad. by Dr. Alan Guth, if it is assumed that cosmic inflation began at 10 to the negative 37th of a second after the Big Bang, and with the assumption that- I'm not even going to pretend like I know what's going on right now. I'm at- <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay. But the size of the universe before inflation began was equal to its age times the speed of light- then this would seem to suggest that at the present day, the entire universe is 150 sextillion times larger than the observable universe. That number for reference looks like this, with this many zeros. Jesus Let this Christ. number sink in for just a moment. This would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, everything that you could see was the size of a light bulb, but then realizing that in reality the entire universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. Imagine oh a light bulb in my the god of Pluto, but we inside the light bulb oh. were totally unaware that Pluto existed outside of it oh and that's my a similar situation to this we are all so unbelievably Bruh. small but you shouldn't worry because all that means is that there is so much left out there for us to discover together this video was made possible I think I've actually got goosebumps that's mad it's actually crazy to think about how big the universe is. I I'm just waiting for some very, very, very intelligent aliens to come and find us and then help us explore the universe with them. And, you know, ha just have a great time together because everyone must be interested in space, surely. It's such an interesting topic and just like, oh, I absolutely love space. I hope you guys did enjoy that video. If you did, my channel is so close to hitting partner. We need 800 more subs. So if you guys really want to do help out, Make sure you do drop a subscription on the channel. It'll mean the world to me. And I'll see you guys in the next video.